All right, welcome back. In this lecture, the least squares criterion will be used to find estimators of the beta parameters in the simple linear regression model. We will see that the least squares criterion leads to what are called the normal equations, and that the least squares estimators of the beta parameters are values in the parameter space that satisfy these normal equations. So here's an outline of what we'll be looking at in this lecture. We'll remind ourselves of the canonical form of the simple linear regression model. We'll also identify the parameters of the simple linear regression model, and in particular the beta parameters, because that is our current focus. We'll specify the least squares criterion and show that the least squares criterion leads to the normal equations. We'll then see that the least squares estimators are the solutions to the normal equations. So let's first remind ourselves of the canonical form of the simple linear regression model. And so the simple linear regression model is given by y equal to beta 0 plus beta 1 times x plus epsilon. And as we said in a previous lecture video, we can always express a simple linear regression model in this form. All right, now let's take a look at the parameters of the simple linear regression model, and in particular, the beta parameters. So looking at the canonical form of the simple linear regression model, we have observed variables, and we have unknown beta parameters. We also have the uh, unobservable error term at the end, but our focus right now is on the observed variables and the unknown beta parameters. So y and x are the observed variables, y is the observed response variable, and x is the observed explanatory variable. Beta 0 and beta 1 are the unknown beta parameters, and they must be estimated. So we have three parameters in the simple linear regression model. The two beta parameters, beta 0, which is the y-intercept of the deterministic part of the model, and beta 1, which is the slope of the deterministic part of the model, as well as the variance uh, of the model error term sigma squared. Now the beta parameters need to be estimated first, and once we've done that, then we can estimate the error variance. But again, our focus uh, in this lecture video is to uh, look at how to estimate the two beta parameters. Okay, now we're going to look at using the least squares criterion to find estimators of the beta parameters of the simple linear regression model. Denote estimators of beta 0 and beta 1 by beta 0 hat and beta 1 hat respectively. Then y hat sub i, which is equal to beta 0 hat plus beta 1 hat times x sub i, is the predicted value of the response variable y sub i when the value of the explanatory variable is x sub i. Now calculate the squared difference between the observed value of the response, y sub i, and the predicted value, y hat sub i, for each experimental unit, i going from 1 to n. Once we've done that, then add these values up. Doing so gives what is called the sum of squared errors, abbreviated SSE. And so notationally, we see that the sum of squared errors, SSE, is equal to the sum, i going from 1 up to n, of the square of the difference between the observed value of the response, y sub i, and the predicted value of the response, y hat sub i. We can then substitute in, for y hat sub i, uh, the expression on the right-hand side of the equation at the top of the slide, 
So substituting in for y hat sub i, the expression beta 0 hat plus beta 1 hat times x sub i. And so the SSE is equal to the sum i going from 1 to n of the square of the quantity y sub i minus beta 0 hat minus beta 1 hat times x sub i. Now, once the data have been observed, the sum of squared errors, SSE, is a function of the estimators, beta 0 hat and beta 1 hat, alone. The least squares criterion says to find the values of beta 0 hat and beta 1 hat from the parameter space of beta 0 and beta 1 that minimize this function. The resulting values of beta 0 hat and beta 1 hat from the parameter space that minimize the sum of squared errors is, are called the least squares estimators of beta 0 and beta 1. To emphasize the fact and uh, make explicit in our notation that the sum of squared errors, SSE, is a function of beta 0 hat and beta 1 hat alone once the data have been observed, we're going to use a function notation shown here. So we're going to express SSE as a function of beta 0 hat and beta 1 hat by putting those two uh, variables in parentheses after SSE. All right, and so that is then equal to uh, the uh, expression for SSE shown on the right hand side of the uh, equation. And again, once the data have been observed, in other words, once the y values and the x values are known, then the only uh, unknowns in that expression would be beta 0 hat and beta 1 hat. And so that's why once the data have been observed, SSE is a function of only beta 0 hat and beta 1 hat. Now the goal is to minimize this expression as a function of these two variables, beta 0 hat and beta 1 hat, and calculus can be used for this purpose. To do this, we take the first partial derivatives of this function with respect to each of beta 0 hat and beta 1 hat individually, and set the derivatives equal to zero. This will result in a system of equations which can then be solved for beta zero hat and beta one hat. Now the first partial derivative of the criterion function SSE, which again is a function of beta zero hat and beta one hat, the first partial derivative of SSE with respect to beta 0 hat is given by uh, the expressions shown here. And so the uh, first expression after the first equality is uh, what you would get when you first take the derivative and then once you simplify that a bit, you get the expression on the far right hand side. And so if we set that expression on the far right hand side equal to zero and simplify a bit, we get uh, the following equation. So beta zero hat times n plus beta one hat times the sum of the x's, that's equal to the sum of the y values. Next, taking the first partial derivative of SSE with respect to beta 1 hat gives the following uh, expressions here. And so we see that uh, if we do some simplification, we get the expression on the far right hand side. And if we set that equal to zero and do a little bit of simplification, we get uh, the equation shown on the bottom of the slide. So beta 0 hat times the sum of the x's plus beta 1 hat times the sum of the squared x's, and that is equal to the sum of the x's times the y's.
And so the values of beta zero hat and beta one hat that minimize the criterion function, that is the sum of squared errors or SSE, are the solutions of the system of equations shown here. All right, so these values of beta zero hat and beta one hat that uh, solve that system are the least squares estimators of the beta parameters beta zero and beta one. And the equations comprising this system are called the normal equations. Once the data have been observed, we can calculate the following summary statistics. So we can calculate n, we can calculate the sum of the x's, we can calculate the sum of the x squareds, we can calculate the sum of the y's, and we can calculate uh, the sum of the product of the x's with the y's. The values for these summary statistics can then be substituted into the normal equations which can then be solved for the least squares estimators beta zero hat and beta one hat. Now, how can the uh, normal equations be solved for beta zero hat and beta one hat? Well, there are a number of approaches, two of which would be algebraic manipulation of the equations in the system. So think back to your uh, college algebra days as well as Gaussian elimination with Jordan reduction, which you would have seen in a uh, matrix class. So we're going to look at uh, both of these approaches in the next example, but that's gonna be in the next lecture video. So I'll see you then.